Today in How to Loom Knit, we'll be working on the true knit stitch or traditional knit stitch. This is lesson 3.3. Welcome to Good Knit Kisses. We're all about helping you stitch your love and love your stitches. Remember that we covered all four of the different knit stitches on the previous video, so click down in the link below to understand the properties. In this video, we'll be covering just how to make the stitch. Let's get started on the true knit stitch or traditional knit. For this video, you're going to need to cast on 22 stitches. I'm going to demonstrate on this loom over here. Go ahead and start casting on. It doesn't matter if you're doing the uh, chain cast on, the double E-wrap, or if you do the E-wrap flat. Pause your video and meet me back up for working the stitch. Are you ready for the traditional knit or the true knit? This is called the reverse purl because there are some extra mechanics to it and it it's worked opposite of how the purl stitch will be. So when we get to the purl stitch lesson in lesson four, uh, you'll be more familiar with some of these motions. What happens is you just put the yarn in front just like we did for the U knit stitch. And then you're gonna go underneath the bottom loop and put your hook right in that little groove, okay? Lift up when you come in between the two stitches and then now take the top loop and pull it downward. I like to touch that groove so I can push inward on it and then slide my loop down and pull it until you totally see this loop hanging through. Now we're gonna take the entire thing off of the loom, just like this, so the old loop is off, and then place the new loop on and then pull on your working yarn to tighten it up. Now don't pull it too tight, okay? So the consistency of how tight you pull this is going to reflect in how your stitches look over here. But for the most part, it's one of the most consistent stitches, okay? So we're gonna go to the next one, just yarn over, okay? That's just wrapping that yarn around the top of that next loop, and we're gonna do that again. Come from underneath, grab that loop and pull downward, pull out a loop, pull off the loop, put down the new loop and then tighten. Come to the next one, yarn over, go under the loop, pull downward to make a loop, take off the loop, and then put on the new loop, tighten it. All right, so I'm gonna simplify. Yarn over, go up, pull down, loop off, new loop on, tighten. One more time. Yarn over, go up, pull down, loop off, new on, tighten. All right, so I'm gonna do these next couple and then I'll show you one from the other direction. This is one of those stitches that Looks really nice and consistent, but yes, it does take a little bit extra time. But once you get used to it, like all things, it's easier to do the more often that you do it. Okay. Coming from the other direction, we've already knit this last one. We're going to do it again. Yarn over, going the other direction. And then we're going to go underneath this first one, pull down that loop. Take it off, put it, the new one on, and tighten. And then you just continue going on. Now you may have asked yourself in these videos, why have I not skipped this first peg, okay? You may have seen in other people's videos, they're skipping the first peg or slipping the peg. That's something we'll talk about in another uh, session. But most knitters and most needle knit patterns uh, aren't doing that when they're knitting. And so I don't want to teach that part just yet. I just want you to appreciate what it looks like to knit all the stitches and um, just come back and forth without worrying about slip stitches or not. So that will be in another lesson. Just want to address that in case that question has come up in your head already. All right, uh, the same way to troubleshoot on this one is just to unknit it. It's the same process. It's the same as all the other ones. Well, you did great, and I know this one takes a little bit longer, but it's well worth it. You know what time it is. It's time for homework. <laughs> yes. So in the true knit stitch, you're going to knit up 37 rows. So go ahead and work on those and take them off with a scrap yarn. Be sure and click on the next video link in the description and subscribe with notifications for new lessons. And again, we'll have more on our website if you missed one. Thanks for joining us today, where we help you stitch your love and love your stitches. See you again soon.